What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Gradient Skies 2. Um, not the first time I tried to record this at the start of this episode. I got like 13 seconds into it, which is about how far I was when I said 13 seconds just then. And I got interrupted for well over an hour. So, um, yeah, I'm just scrapping that and trying again. So I crafted the fire rune that was on uh, there waiting to be crafted for so long. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Yes, that was this quest. That gave me a rune of spring. And I was looking at what I could do with that when I got interrupted. So, uh, oh yeah, jaded amaranthium. That's the flower that uses... Um, mana and produces flowers. So I no longer have to do the whole growing them thing. Fallen Canard, that gives regen 3. The Agricarnation, I think that's the one that makes flowers grow faster. Or uh, makes plants grow faster, sorry. Or we can make the Rune of Greed, which can be used for Mana Lens Boar. The Orchid, the Orchid Ignem. Huh, I do not know what that is. And the hibiscus. Isn't that the one that makes uh, bees, like, super fast and shit? Okay. Um, the orchid? Powerful, but we do not have the mana regen, the mana gen, sorry, to make it work. So, um, yeah, while I was waiting, I actually I made, like, another six of these, just to boost it. I think these actually are much more effective than they should be, going by the amount of mana they give. And I know that these are fairly effective, but I don't really want to go adding too much to this yet. So this is going to do it for our mana, re our mana gen for now. And I want to look at um, exactly what we've actually got to do like in this uh, quest line, because I haven't really looked at this quest line much. So, um, Elven Mana Spreader, which we cannot do yet. Uh, Botanical Brewery? Uh, we need a brewing stand, which means we need a blaze rod. I don't really think we've got any blaze rods. Um, I know we had two, but I used them for uh, for this. The alchemy catalyst, which allows me to basically do a whole bunch of transmutation in there. Which, the one I found the most useful, transmuting gas tears into endables. Costs a fuckload of mana, that's why I don't have three pools full of mana anymore. Um, I actually do have some blaze rods. Okay then, I will do this. I will make the botanical brewery. Brewery. Great word, isn't it? It makes you sound drunk when you say it. Also, for some re weird reason, right? When I um, got interrupted, I decided I was going to just take the opportunity to cycle the client because it starts lagging after a while, that sort of stuff. Uh, four, five mana steel and a pearl. Oh wow, that is amazingly convenient. I was not actually planning on making that right now. So that is actually just convenient. Uh, yeah, so for some strange reason, I, when I once I cycled the client... Um, a couple of configs like decided they were going to change themselves. I don't know if uh, the pack updated uh, between the part before and this part. But if it did, I did not notice it. Yeah, I forgot they're both pulling from there. Uh, yeah, there you go. Charge that up a bit. Drop it in there. Oh, right, that's right, I put it in the opposite, the wrong way around. There we go. There. Right, uh, Rune of Mana, and then these, and what was the one underneath? Was that a block of uh, Mana Steel? It was. It's not too bad. Yeah, so a couple of uh, configs changed themselves. So I came back in, and I had to, um, like, immediately leave and go and do other stuff. Because uh, stuff like uh, the jetpacks, they were suddenly making a sound. And I don't know if you've uh, heard the jetpack sound effect. It's a decent sound effect. I appreciate the fact that it's in the game. It is not for me. I, like, if I'm playing on my own, generally don't play with sound. And if I'm recording, I do not want that just... 
just in the background all the time I'm flying because it is just not right for that. It just does, does not work for that. So what I'm going to do is move this to here and this to me because then I can just uh, I can bind one to one and then if I'm going to be using one of them I'll bind that to the other. So yeah, uh, I need to make a vial of revitalization. Vial of revite, that is nether wart, gas tier, glowstone, and I need one of them weird jugs. Uh, gas tier, nether wart, glowstone, all in my chest, that's convenient. Where do I click? Do I click on these? Oh, do I need to put a bottle on there first? Uh, the bottle is mana glass, which is glass in mana. Amazing what you can work out these days, isn't it? Uh, da, 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 one, two, three. That's probably going to give more than uh, more than I need. But I suppose this is just introducing you to the concept more than anything. And then I need to do this. I actually quite like the look of that mana glass. I might have to try it out for some build. <laughs> Implying that I'm going to be building something that looks good. Oh, Christ. There we go. So, if I bind that to there as well, it should then run twice as fast. Yeah, that's better. Still taking a little while to do. Although, you know what I will probably do is um, bind something into an amulet. Like, um, once I start doing blood magic. I know, I know that as soon as I start doing blood magic, I'm going to be spending probably a stack of Enderium on making some things. And that's that done. And that gets me a large flask of restoration. And the, um, the large flask... Yeah, that's not the... Fuck it, right. The large flask... I, um, I don't know if it will tell me about flasks yet. Alright, yeah. No, it does, yeah. Alf glass. You need to go, you need to get the Alfine portal running before you can do that. Okay. But yeah, that's not too bad. That is uh, 25 seconds of regen 2, and that's 2 minutes of regen 1. Not too shabby. I will keep these in here, uh, in case I need them at some point, and we shall see what else we've got to do. So, uh, build an orchid, build a vacuum flower. Wow, is that really? Like, we're just going to jump that fast. Okay. Um, what I think I want to do is use my lava, so I want to build a plant that generates mana from lava. Do I need to go... Do I need the alpha for that? Entropinium is explosions. Thermolily. Yes, the thermolily is what I want. Right, I need fire and earth runes for that. And I'm going to want at least four of them to start. So I'm going to need to make some more runes. Yeah. So earth is stone, coal, and a mu... Really? A mushroom? Either colour, but still. I better have some mushroom in here. Aha, four. Well, I only want to make two sets of each. Yeah. And then I, I need a block of coal as well, wasn't it? Um, hey, that is extremely convenient. Awful lot of convenience coming out of this episode, and I don't know why. I feel like once I'm done, the episode, the uh, game is going to be a lot more of a dick to me, simply because the convenience is now over. So, is that it for that? Yes, that makes three. Yeah, right. The fire is nether brick, gunpowder, nether wart. I have a nether brick. I've already got one set, so I suppose that'll do. Nether brick, nether wart, and a gunpowder. Actually, while I'm here, let me just take these and do this. I really need to set myself up a, uh, a proper storage system and everything. But that will have to do for now. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, that. And I'm just going to need a load of iron as well. I'm going to need a lion then. Oh, 
Oh man, you know what game has amazing music? Fucking Plague Night. Uh, not Plague Night. Shovel Knight. Plague Night. The um the new update came out, which uh, everyone originally thought was going to be DLC, but then turned out to just be a straight up free update. They were just like, yeah, man, it's, just go for it. You know, just uh, have this new character with entirely new movement physics and everything, and it was cool. And, uh, yeah, the music in that game is fantastic. It's one of those, uh, you know, 8 or 16-bit stylized games that really cares about every little part of itself. And that includes making fantastic music. Why are you so slow? Hmm. And start. And we'll make these. So yes, the flower I am making, the thermal lily, I'm going to need mystical and orange mana. I wonder if I've got enough orange left to make four of these. God damn. You guys are taking forever. I need more spreaders. I think I have an extra spreader in here. The redstone spreader. Which, fuck knows why, but I couldn't get working. You guys saw me click that on there, right? I thought that bug was fixed. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> so yeah, mana, orange, um, orange, orange mana, and red. Uh, orange and red. So one, two, three, four, and that will do. Like that. And that, and then there's those, and then we give that a twonk, and we get that, and well, then we have these and these, and then we just need seeds, and of course the bucket. Right, so there we go. That's nice and fast. Second. Right, that one, then that one. Then there we go. Wow, I actually managed to keep track of exactly where I went wrong there. That was rare. Normally it's one of those situations where it's like, fuck it, burn it all down, start again. Obviously not burning it all down because I live on a wooden platform. Burning it down would be catastrophic. But these thermal lilies, on the other hand, Right, the real question is, uh... Fuck, floodlight. We don't have any floodgates. So... How am I gonna get the lava out? I suppose I'll have to do it manually for now. Um... Do -do 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 -do. We need somewhere to put this where we can generate mana... From fire... Lava... Um... The second mana spreader does need, yeah, the dream wood. So, can't do that yet. So, what if we just took our extra mana pool somewhere else? And, uh, six. Flower and a piece of gold, I believe it is. Where's all my gold gone? Probably in various places. I'm going to grab a little more just in case I need it. There we go. So yeah, what if we do it like round here? If I'm going to grab this... No, that's a... That's not what I need. That. And then I feel like I'm going to need to go and grab... This, because I didn't. I know I didn't finish reinforcing the underside of this platform yet. Oh, I might have actually. I mean, that's uh, that's more than just a bit reinforced. That's almost completely done. So, if we have, excuse me, um, if 
we have the lava appearing, say, here. I need to make sure everything around it is made of uh, cobble. Just to be safe. That's right, I don't even need these. I grabbed all these, I didn't mean to. I meant to go here, grab some cobble. I mean, I personally would like it to be a little more cobble. So maybe I'm going to do that. Second, have we activated that? Wanted to make sure my glove was active because, uh, you know, lots of smashing to do. Boop. boop. And boop. Oh, man, I think it's funny how when you get the uh, the lighting changes there, you can actually hear every individual block being placed. It's like, this is a, an audio representation of the lag that happens when you do too much lighting updates at once. Too much, too many lighting updates at once. I word guard. I guard word march. So, in fact, the lava needs to actually be there. And what I would like to use for this, do I have any more smooth stone? No. Okay. Cook that, cook that for me. Thank you. I'm going to use these. There we go. I've never actually used these ones, by the way. I always use the, um, the coal flowers simply because I can. But I think I'm going to go for these on this world because uh, right now, I like if I really wanted to, I could go and make the whole thing that I need. And then two of those. I'm actually not got enough iron. And this is silver in here. I need iron. Badly. What I need to do is just go through and turn everything in there into uh, solids at one point. Just into blocks and ingots and shit. That would take a while though. I mean, do you see how much I had in there? Do -do -do. So I just need, what, two iron? Just checking to see if there's a little bit of iron kicking around somewhere nearby. No, there usually is. I know where there's a little bit of iron I can nab from myself. Aha. Uh -huh. In my term curved area. Right. There's a new drum. Because you know how I started filling this with lava? Well, it filled up almost instantaneously. I mean, it, not instantaneously, but it filled up fast. But do you know how much lava we're getting from this? Already, there's already 12 buckets in there. And that goes there. Mm. That feels better. And then we do that. And then presumably one flower will eat that. Oh yeah, there we go. One flower eats it. I keep forgetting I've got jetpack. That up there. And we'll put a mana pool right there. Do that. Find you to there, find you to him, you to him, you to him, and you to him. And then there we go. Now, how much? Okay, so just one flower is pretty much enough to fill up a mana uh, spreader. Okay, they're um, a lot faster than I was expecting. Like I said, never really used them before. So I didn't, I didn't know that. There's another two, and I'm going to need my petal bag, which is in my inventory. God damn it. Uh, that's the one I've got loads of. Do, 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 do. Put that away. Put 
Okay, each flower gets its own spreader, apparently. Come here, you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Go. So you bind to you, you bind to you, you bind to you, and you to you. And then all four of you bind to there. And the last one. It's okay, that's for you, you can take it. Huh, um, so one of these. No, they're all, uh... Apparently this flower isn't. Find it up there, right? And you know what you're doing. Oh, there's probably a cooldown, to be fair, on how um, soon after it's eaten a piece it can do it again. But, there we go, that's some better mana gen. I don't know if, how good it is, because like I said, never really done this before. And, um, Vazki? Yeah, I think it's Vazki. Likes to keep cards very close to his chest on how good everything actually is in his mod. Oh yeah, I see. They have a steamy thing above them, which probably means they're they're on a cooldown now. Okay, that makes sense. So that's uh, that's some mana gen over there, better than nothing. And uh, we've got the passive mana gen over here, which is just going to be you know running all the time doing its thing, and this is going to supply most of our mana, most probably. Seeing as how much mana it is already supplied, then yeah, it might actually end up supplying most of our mana. So, what else do we have? So we have the mana, we have those, we have vacuum flower, the hopper hocks. Uh, the hopper hocks are kind of useful, I could go for one of those. Hopper hock. Hopper hock petite. Oh, you get a tiny little flower. Interesting. So this requires a rune of air. Three mana steel, string, feather, carpet. Well, thanks to some lucky drops, string, feather, three wool. I have, um, no. How do you make carpet? How do you carpet? Why can I never remember this? Oh, it's just two. Which makes no sense, by the way. That. And last I remember, there was some spare mana steel in there. One, two, three, do that. Drop that on there. I will be back in a moment. How much uh, silver is left? None. Hmm. That does not seem legit. Maybe it was legit. Yeah, very possibly. Plenty of silver in there now. Also, so yeah, this silver is um, going into here to become mirrors, which go into here and then become more of these solar panels. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I need like one more of those. So we're just going to... Basically just killing time while other stuff happens. So silver, I just need like another three pieces of glass. That was two. There we go, two mirrors. Drop those in there. Do that. That gives me exactly a stack of solar panels. And with that, I can use some gold and some red stone. I only need uh, eight of these, and then do that, and that, and now we have eight solar panel twos. Nice. Nice. Just get me some more iron, 
And by the time I get back over here, this should way be done. Yep. Drop. Right, so there's our rune of air, which is one of the things we needed. The hopper hop also requires a redstone root, which is tall grass. I don't have any tall grass. Um. Okay, that sound is the um, the thing, the air room splashing around in there. Um, tall grass, tall grass. I mean, I can get some tall grass. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Um, do grass seeds. That's now going to be grass for a while, and then. There's more water in town. Increase the tick rate, help it grow. Yes, much better. Man, I like how with the uh, the haste three on my boots, I can actually walk at a fair clip, even when I'm uh, doing that. There we go, and some shears. Oh wow, that gave me actual legit flowers. I thought those were supposed to be insanely hard to get a hold of. And that was one of the like the whole points about them. Uh, the real question is, how do I make this? Just shapeless crafting, that's nice. Right, you take those. So, here's a little thing about Britannia. Any plant that requires a redstone root in its crafting recipe can be turned off with redstone for future uh, notice. Mystical Grey, Grey Manor, Mystical Light Grey, Light Grey Manor. So Grey and Grey, and then some Grey, and um, just a smidge more Grey? Light Grey. Manor of Fire, one of each. Lock those in. And those. There's the Hopper Hawk. Sweet. So the Hopper Hawk does exactly what you would assume it does. It um, pulls in items. I believe it pulls in items from a distance. They suck in items and place them in the inventory. If you mark the inventory with a frame, the Hopper Hawk will sort the items too. Huh. It's in a very smart, mysterious flower. Sweet, and sorry, what was our reward? Why? Why do people insist on giving the reward being the exact same thing you just made when it's something that you generally are not going to want more than one of? That's always confused me, and it, it seems like a lazy way of giving someone a reward, but making it a shit reward. It's like. Here's a hopper hock. I could give you, oh, I don't know, some redstone to activate it with, a chest to put items in, anything like that. But nah. Not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Um, yeah, those seem to have been nerfed quite substantially. It seems like uh, it might actually be a good idea to just go full passive on this. Because the passive flowers do seem to have a much higher um, like payout rate. Which I was not expecting to see. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. What else have we got? There is the ore flora, the flower fan. Opposite to the hop, the hop, hock, the daffo mill. <laughs> daffo mill. I like it, I like it. Oh, God damn, I thought I clicked on there. Uh, da, 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 da. Daffo Mill. That requires Rune of Air, and then White Mana, Brown, Yellow Mana. I know that might sound confusing the way I said that, but that's the way I say it to myself. 
White, brown, mana, yellow. I know I just said it wrong, by the way. That time I was actually just trying to confuse myself. It was too brown, right? No, two whites. My bad. Looks like my confusing worked! Ha ha! And yellow mana. So, I just need some fluid in there. And the mana petals. And the redstone root. And the rune of air. I don't like the fact that they now all splash around when there's stuff in there. It's like, I get it, I put the stuff in there, I know it's in there, you don't need to keep reminding me. Daffin Mill. Why Cook's assistant? Ooh, I wonder if these things take mana. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yes, that's a shame. Oh well. I was going to say, if they don't take mana, I could use them quite effectively in um, the nether. I was looking at how to get those thorncraft shards I need, and it sucks. So, what do we got now? Just that, and the ore flora. The orchid. Red like roses. I want to know what that does. That probably gives nether ore, right? So, whoa! Pride and greed and pixie dust get fucked? Get to shit? That's expensive as hell. And we would never use it, like not for a very long time, because it's so expensive in terms of mana. So I think what I might do um, next time I do Britannia is work on this. And uh, now that I've got some of that done, what I should do is... Living wood rod is made by a dormant living wood rod, and that's the thing is I don't know how to make that. So, uh, nope. Hmm. I wonder if that's a thorncraft item. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. The real question is, where would it come under? Would it be in here? Like, would I need to just work out whatever it is I need to do to unlock this? And then find out? Hmm. Well, um, we'll find out next episode, because that is uh, time for now. So, um, yeah, who knows what I'll do next episode. Maybe I'll go and do the thing I was talking about wanting to do. Maybe we'll go and do something else. Maybe we'll do some Thorncraft, or... Yeah, who knows? There's actually there's a, quite a few options. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.